Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rafa Palace a number of Representatives Council members led by the first Deputy Speaker Abdul Nabi Salman where they exchanged talks on a number of national affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed his support to all that concerns citizens and achieves their aspirations, noting that citizens represent the main pillar for all government programs. His Royal Highness asserted that the government and the Representatives Council share their national goals of increasing achievements and gains. His Royal Highness stressed the government's keenness on bolstering cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and promoting understanding and harmony in their work, especially in causes that concern citizens. He stated the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities represents the basis for accelerating the development march in Bahrain in various fields. For their part, the Representatives Council members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to support government parliament cooperation, highlighting His Royal Highness's keenness on the swift fulfillment of the citizens' needs. They asserted that His Royal Highness's directives to ministers and officials, in cooperation with the legislative authority, affirm His Royal Highness's belief in the importance of the cooperation and partnership between the two authorities to support the development march in the kingdom in various sectors. His Majesty the King's representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received members of the Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team to review their achievements in 2018 and upcoming activities. The event was attended by a large number of sports and media personalities. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed the importance of the achievements of the cycling team, which he said happened in a short time since the team was established. His Highness said the team participated in over 250 races across the world in more than 20 countries and have exceeded expectations as it achieved first place 11 times, second place 17 times and third place 6 times. In the year 2018 alone, His Highness said that the team won first place 26 times, second place 33 times and third place 29 times, which increased the team's position to fifth place according to the latest international ranking. His Highness met with the team's sponsors on the margin of the event and said that their efforts played an important supportive well, we role for the team. we attended 250 races per year in more than 20 countries across the five continents. We have successfully achieved many milestones. When we started in 2017, we had 11 victories and 23 second and third places. The Milano San Remo race, it's a classic race well known around the world and it has its weight. Thank you very much. Thank you to our soldiers out there, the riders of Bahrain Merida. Thank you to the ones behind the curtain, behind the stage, whom are the logistical team, the administration, and thank you for the ones who made it happen, our sponsors. Bahrain Merida now is coming uh, along really good. Um, I'm very passionate, I'm very uh, hopeful that Bahrain Merida on its third season is going to be much stronger. They will achieve more. And uh, I can tell you that for the past two years, we've been doing a lot. We have uh, won a lot of uh, podiums until we came fifth overall uh, in the rankings. Um, this year, we are aiming higher, we are punching way over our weight, but it's worth it. Our sponsorship to Bahrain Merida is a very strategic uh, sponsorship for us. It's one of the most successful partnerships that we have. And uh, it's all based on the directions that we had from, uh, from His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa ibn Ahmed, uh, the oil minister and the chairman of, uh, of uh, Bahrain National 
oil company Babco. Uh, it's a very successful uh, venture and a partnership between us. Uh, we we are amazed with the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his passion toward this uh, this uh, this team. Bahrain Merida has proved a lot. Uh, we see them uh, all through Europe. Even when we are traveling on our vacations, we see someone wearing Bahrain Merida. So it's it's a pride it's a pride for us and for for the whole 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 Bahrain. So. We are very happy. I'm personally happy to be to be part of of, of, of such a successful team. Uh, well, McLaren's delighted to be here in the King of Bahrain uh, supporting team Bahrain Merida, and uh, McLaren has has taken an investment in that team to bring about uh, additional performance through both technology but also human performance with the riders. So working with with the man, with the machine, and also the strategies to help the team optimize their performance on the Grand Tour. It's. Um huge opportunity that I'm here. Um, I'm really happy about it because this team this team it's one of the best on the world and to how that I have place in this team I'm really really happy and um, yeah it's amazing because um, when you get this opportunity to come in this team um, for sure um, give me a lot of motivation um, and I really looking forward for the this season. I'm, uh, my name is Rowan Dennis and I'm from Adelaide in South Australia. Uh, I've only been in the team since uh, technically from January 1 this year uh, but everybody's been great. It's uh, very professional, It's uh, everything's well organised and, and it's it's been being very welcoming and warming being in the team so far. The chairman of the Isa bin Salman Educational Fund, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the opening ceremony for the Bahrain 2019 International Garden Show at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. His Highness Sheikh Isa affirmed the ongoing support of His Majesty the King and Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, reflects Bahrain's commitment to prioritize agriculture as an integral part of the kingdom's development. His Highness recognized the importance of advancing the agricultural sector's economic contribution in line with Bahrain's diversification efforts and environmental stewardship. His Highness Sheikh Isa then launched a progress report on the implementation of the United Nations Sixth Sustainable Development Goal in the Kingdom of Bahrain and a soil maps project that outlines the Kingdom's soil properties. His Highness Sheikh Isa later presented awards to the winners of the Bahrain Garden Club competition.
it is uh, all encompassing. It, it is a platform that has declared itself as one that allows for growth, it allows for exposure, and it has declared uh, almost a movement, if you will, in the field of agriculture. And it has always uh, encouraged people to see it as a viable sector for investment and a viable sector as a career choice. Um, so every year we pick a, a theme and we focus on that theme and our exhibitors do an excellent job in helping us raise awareness about that particular theme. And uh, we also look forward to the success of businesses in Bahrain. And I'm proud to say that over the years, many companies launched their services at the show and they kept growing with the show. And we see them today still with us with a, a, a bigger exhibiting space and a much more stable kind of business. So honestly, it is a platform that has served its purpose and it continues to serve development and support of agriculture. We are pleased to uh, contribute and to participate in this event, which is one of the uh, uh, activities of the uh, National Initiative for Agriculture Development. We have a number of, uh, of initiatives that help the members of public to, uh, uh, to find out what uh, uh, that uh, farming uh, and, uh, prod uh, and agriculture can be a profession. First, we congratulate uh, Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa on this outstanding success that uh, the garden exhibition uh, is really showing. Every year it is improving and becoming better than the previous year by the number of participants, by the quality of what is exhibited and also from the countries that now they are showing interest to be part of this uh, exhibition. 70% of the world's food is produced as a result of the mineral fertilizers and the nitrogenous fertilizers and Bahrain is proud to be part of this community. We produce in Bahrain 750,000 tons a year and we distribute to the local market around two to 3,000 tons of urea for the local agricultural initiative. Now we have seen that when we started this initiative, uh, the consumption of urea in Bahrain was only 500 ton a year. Today it's over 3,000 ton a year. What does it mean? It means really first that the greenery has expanded, so it means the initiative that Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Sabika has taken in encouraging, promoting greenery, gardens, agriculture, agriculture produce developments in Bahrain has increased. Has increased not by talk, but we can prove statistically that we have gone over the last 10 years from 500 ton consumption of urea to 3,000 ton uh, consumption of urea. So therefore, we see ourselves a strategic partner to this initiative, and we are very proud that GPIC is contributing to the greenery and to the feeding of the people. This exhibition is crucial to, um, to the economy of the agriculture in Bahrain. Uh, the agriculture has done a lot of initiatives uh, helping uh, the small uh, businesses from the agriculture to develop. Bahrain farmers need a kind of government support and on this uh, event would like to thank Her Royal Highness Prince uh, Sabika for her support to all farmers and to the whole agriculture economy. Bahrain has submitted um, a report to the United Nations on the initiative that we have achieved on the sustainable goals and we would like to enlighten it at, at our exhibitions especially the part of the climate change the uh, university of bahrain uh, always uh, looks at the uh, profession of this profession as a, an important one that has a lot of uh, reflection uh, and also uh, an impact an impact for the economy and for the labor market. We would like to see uh, more programs and we are going to have no, uh, new programs uh, in agriculture and agriculture related uh, topics and also in uh, food security. The third Middle East and Africa FinTech Forum was held today in Bahrain under the patronage of the Central Bank of Bahrain. 
The forum was attended by hundreds of delegates and the discussions dealt with the financial industry's key issues such as financial inclusion across the Middle East and Africa, open banking, artificial intelligence and the impact of fast developing technology on banking and societies. Hosted by Bank ABC and Arab Financial Services, the forum was attended by officials from the central banks of Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kuwait, UAE, Oman, Jordan, Egypt, Libya and Tunisia. In addition to senior representatives from the banking, finance, telecom and tech industries in the MENA region. You can see from the number of participants, uh, this is a huge success for us. We have... Uh, uh, the leading uh, governors of the central banks in the region are present with us. So we are very proud of the progress that we have made over the last three years. You know, this is also a testimony to what Bahrain has done over the, this period in terms of regulation, in terms of enabling environments for fintech company to start uh, in Bahrain. And we are grateful to all the participants uh, the startups, uh, ABC, Bank ABC, for hosting uh, this event. I'm very excited about the regulatory shift that's occurred here, particularly around the fintech uh, licensing for new banks emerging, um, open banking standards and things like that. It shows that Bahrain has really made this uh, mental leap to understand the future. We've seen London and Singapore and other regions really advance this. So this is excellent to see the foundation work being done here. I think Bahrain has a great potential when it comes to being a fintech hub, frankly, not only in the Middle East, but also broader than that globally as well. For example, certain innovations with open banking, crypto assets, even broader like AI and AI fintech may have maybe great opportunity for Bahrain. And I'm very happy to see not only the central bank, but also the regulators and the broader ecosystem being very, very active in this space which is very exciting to see. What we're seeing here in the forum and the, the ethos that we're embodying here in Bahrain that this new era of, of change, the era of fintech, the era of digitalization and innovation is completely underpinned by collaboration. And that is the hat and the, the ethos that we go by every day. And I think this congregation of people from all over the world, whether it's people from Bahrain, the region, or internationally and world experts coming into Bahrain, to see what's going on here, to discuss things in a very open way is very refreshing. And to see that one of the banks is openly sharing their future plans um, is, is something that I think is very encouraging. And I think this is a step that is unprecedented. And moving on forward, we need much more of this collaboration to really push ahead as ecosystems and as nations. We have over 600 plus uh, guests coming from all around the world, regulators, um, governors of central banks, uh, financial experts in the um, fintech technology uh, space. Uh, this is a very important event for a country like Bahrain, which is small in size but has a huge potential as being the hub of the fintech uh, industry in this region.